Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim Tower: The Vertical Empire. In our last video, we earned our third star after building a ton of offices up here. And you can see there's some fallout from that, but uh, as promised, we're going to try to help solve the problem by building additional elevators. Let's see, how far away do we need to be? Oh wow, okay, that'll do. Okay, everybody. Additional elevator shaft. And we'll just put elevators everywhere. That should do it. We can try to mimic the scheduling that we've got on this other one. So everything is down, basically. Okay. Up in the morning. Down the rest of the day. And we set the waiting car response to 10. All over the place. Sure. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Okay, what I do know is that uh, that should help out substantially. It's, it's kind of crazy, because you look at this and you see there are still all these upset people. And that's with two elevator shafts serving just the offices here. Wow. So many of these are unused. I don't know. Unfortunately, uh, well, we'll see. A, a few of these folks are going to move out. But this did help substantially. At least I'm pretty sure they're going to move out. I guess we'll see. Oh, there's a little bit of recycling in there. Good to see. Glad people are recycling. Let's go ahead and move on. And nothing really exciting is going to happen over the weekend, so we want to get to Monday, which yields rent from the offices. Yep, we had people move out. We did. Conditions are terrible. And that's unfortunate. But we can lure people back in by changing the rent. What happens if I go right back to 10? I wonder. Oh, hey, that's interesting. That's interesting. So all I have to do... <laughs> I don't even have to leave the window. Just make it a little more enticing. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, move in. Thank you. So, aside from that being kind of obnoxious... Uh, it's manageable. Now, I can tell you that as the tower continues to grow and its population gets out of control, uh, we might just end up making the rent super cheap, like 2,000, so that people stay. And we would do that because the goal is population growth not money. There's no requirement for how much funding you have for any of those star ratings. It's all about population and facilities. So yeah, you gotta have money to build the facilities, sure. 
but really, again, end goal is like 15,000 people. To achieve that, we gotta keep them in the tower. Otherwise, no. Looks like some people have injuries showing up at the medical center. Whoa! That's a lot. Wow. Okay. What's eval looking like? Oh, wow, a lot of upset people already. That's not great. Maybe we're not doing that well with the elevators. I don't know. Maybe Express to the Bottom doesn't really uh, do anything. I mean, it's Monday, and everybody's already pretty angry. With two elevator shafts working overtime here, trying to get people around. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Okay, let's let's experiment some more. Put that back to five all over the place. I don't know. This is just the one on the right. I mean, we want to get this figured out and move on. So we can start working toward that fourth star. We want more people in the tower. But we've got to get this right. We have to get a formula. I'm going to put this to a 60 second wait before moving. I don't know if that's a good idea. It might be a terrible idea. But it's just something I want to see. Can't do much worse than we're already doing, so... Oh, there we go. Okay, everybody. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Very long queues here. And these are just going to the bottom and hanging out. And I'm starting to think it's that minute-long wait before departing thing. That that probably is, is not making things any better. So we are going to disable it. Valiant effort. But ultimately, no. Just no. So we'll uh, keep the express stuff, but I don't know about the rest of this. I don't know what the perfect formula is. Okay. Peace. Might be time to expand the parking a bit. The parking ramps can only be built directly below one another, so if I try to do this, parking ramps must be connected vertically. So I gotta do that. That's how that works. People are using those parking spaces. Cool. Hmm, we've got full express elevator cars. Uh, that tells me we should probably just fill this up. It's going to be expensive, but... There we go. Okay, it's full. We're doing that, of course, to take a little bit of stress away from everybody. The sooner they can get on their way up, the better. And I'm going to make it so that uh, half of these cars are on the 15th floor. So that they don't have to wait quite so long to get back downstairs. Uh, 
How are things going with all this? Not as well as can be expected, I suppose. Everybody needs to use the elevator. Let's go local. Let's go local. See if that helps. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. This is back to defaults, basically. Which means the entire enterprise was futile. That's okay. How's eval looking? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. See, this is what'll really tell us how we're doing with the elevators, frankly. So we want to keep an eye on that. Yep, it is time for another floor. We're investing a lot to make these offices happy. Okay, that's good for now. Uh, let's talk a bit about these new hotel options that we got when we hit three stars, because I didn't talk about them. So this is the single hotel room. We're familiar with that. This is the twin hotel room, $50,000. So it's uh, 1.5 times the size of a single hotel room, but it can house two people. I guess we could just build one. There. I mean, no harm. And this is the hotel suite. It costs $100,000 to build, and I think only one person can stay in there. Uh, I'm not going to build it because it will attract a VIP. To go from three to four stars, you need a population of 5,000, plus more than one hotel suite placed, plus recycling and medical demands met, plus a favorable VIP rating. VIPs only stay in a hotel suite. This person must be happy with your hotel suite and with your elevator system for you to get a favorable rating. Without a favorable rating, you can't get more stars. If you don't get a favorable rating the first time, you'll be given additional chances. So I read that and go, hey, as long as I don't build a a sweet? I don't have to worry about it. So should we start building twin hotel rooms now? After all, their rent is $1,000 higher. Well, we remember that each single hotel room is four spaces wide, which means that each twin hotel room is six spaces wide because that is the width of 1.15 single hotel rooms. And we also remember that each space of single hotel room is worth $500 per day, because that's 2,000 divided by four, We'll use the same formula on the twin hotel room, 3,000 divided by 6, and we get 500 again. So they're the same in terms of recurring revenue, but if you've got three single hotel rooms together and two twin hotel rooms together, you're going to have a population of three from the former and a population of four from the latter. Since I care more about recurring revenue than temporary population when it comes to the hotels, I'm just going to stick with the single hotel rooms for now. So we've already looked at the escalator and the express elevator. There's nothing new under the office button here, and we've talked about everything under hotel. There's nothing new under condo. Retail, though, oh my. So, yeah, here's the uh, fast food joints, as always. And now we can build restaurants. Now, I believe with restaurants, the difference 
Oh, I didn't mean that. I wanted to check out this. Restaurants are generally used at the dinner hour. They produce more income than fast food shops if traffic is good, but the customers tend to linger a while. Okay. Well, we might as well build a few of those here, right? Right. Hmm. Tower is not really wide enough to build a fifth one. I guess we could put it here. Is there a sixth one? There is not. It loops back around to the pub. Goodbye. Let's build an escalator here. And here. So we've got this little eatery area. The food court. How nice. And we are out of money. Oh my. But that is okay because it is the weekend. And we should be getting a boatload of money from the offices right then, yes. Yes, we can work with that. I'm just looking at the elevators wondering uh, if I need to address anything here or if everything is cool. Looks like we still have enough parking. That's nice. This express elevator is rocking it. And I guess these are working about as well as can be expected. I like seeing the red F. That tells me that the cars are actually filling up with people instead of just letting them queue up. Which is worthless. So all that experimentation just kind of landed us right back at the defaults, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. Could still be better. But... This'll do. Yeah, the red the red F is definitely good. Fill up. Load up with people. People trying to get around. We might have to add a third shaft here. I don't know. This is very dense. But it's just not very efficient if we do that, so yikes. Maybe we should think about widening the tower. How about once we reach the 30th floor, we do that? Just go ahead and add those. It's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, offices are long-term investments. You don't profit on them until after a year has gone by. And we're out of money. I was kind of looking forward to seeing how people are getting home. Oh, I don't think that was that bad, really. Oh. It is the morning. Income from hotel, which means we can... Uh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Too fast. Uh, well, this isn't great. Uh, you know what? Let's just bite the bullet. I'm going to add a third elevator shaft here. Wow, 
My placement is terrible. It's, it's off by just a little, isn't it? Just a little. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. That's so bad. Um. Well, we're gonna live with it, aren't we? Yes, we are. It's, it'll be fine. Not enough money for construction. Well, let's fix that. I hope that helps. Hello. Blackmail from terrorists. They demand $300,000 or a hidden bomb will explode at 3 o'clock. I think we can find the bomb. Security forces from your security offices are on their way to find the bomb. Good luck. Hurry! This is why you build security offices every ten floors. I hope they find it. We have until three o'clock. So they're working up here. We've got some working here. Looks like we have some overlap. My placement methods may not be the best, but I have to say, uh, oh. Because you have enough security offices in your tower, security forces found the bomb. Thanks. Whew. Yeah, that's why we're gonna build those every 10 floors. Because terrorists. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. Uh, having so many elevator shafts like this in one spot, we're gonna run out of them. I don't know. We might just have to have angry tenants. There's a way to get around that. It'll it'll be fine. But at least for now, this is actually cheaper in a way. Cuz the other option is just to give everybody basically free rent. Yeah, $2,000 per quarter. They they won't complain. They'll never move out. You just, you know, you don't really make any money. <laughs> So, oh, there's Santa again. Look at that. Okay. Anyway. Let's go. Income from office. Good, good. Nobody moved out. I should hope not. Not with all these elevators here. Let's build another floor. Bring up the elevators. Got 24 elevator shafts. It's draconian. That's what it is. I'm already nervous about it. Does it even help to have uh, put that third one there? Still got a lot of angry people. Maybe it doesn't matter. It's 
Eval say? <laughs> Eval would tend to agree with me. Hmm. Well. Uh. <laughs> People are getting on these. That's pretty full. With like two people there. I just want to see if they're being efficiently utilized, you know? Oh, they moved out of this one. Conditions are terrible. Well, I am terribly sorry about that. And we flipped it. No big deal. Hmm. We're doing our best, but... Anyway, it's time for another floor. Full of offices. Well, as full as we can make it, because we're out of money. But we know how to fix that. And everybody lines up to go home. That didn't look that bad to me. It really didn't. Everybody's already trying to get out for lunch and stuff. I don't know. And now it's time to go home. That looked pretty efficient for the most part, except for something that was going on around here. Let's see if people move out. tenants all stayed. So this is working for now. It's not perfect. By any stretch of the imagination. But it's meeting our current needs. And that's what counts. And wow, hey, we are at the 30th floor. Let's go ahead and build the lobby. There's no reason to go to this lobby. But there it is. And we might as well extend this. Oop, I uh, dragged that a little too far because I forgot that I was on an express elevator shaft and not a standard elevator shaft. Because, yeah, it's it's only the standard and the service elevator shafts that have the 30 floor limit. The express elevator shaft can extend to the top of the tower, but it would not stop at the very top floor. The highest it would go would be to the 90th floor. Because those are the rules. Every 15 floors. And that's fine. That's what an express elevator should do anyway, really. These elevators stop only on those floors which can have lobbies, every 15 stories, whether or not you actually have a lobby on that floor. They also stop at all underground floors. You cannot adjust their waiting floors in the elevator window. These are for regular tenants only, not service staff or security. They can carry up to 42 passengers. So there are some of the details that I might have left out when I was first introducing the express elevator shaft, a very useful and very necessary part of the tower. Well, we've filled the place out pretty well. There's some room for retail and stuff like that there, which we'll, uh, we'll look at. And as promised, I think we will start expanding. Start using up some of this lot space. But all that'll come in the next video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.